What's up guys, Mr. Majestic here, your tech, anime, and gaming loving DJ from Toronto, and this is my life, Majestic Life. Bringing to you today my current man cave setup. And if you're wondering why I'm coming to you from an empty basement, it's because I'm about to set up the new man cave in this space. It's gonna start very soon, hasn't started yet, but I figured can't talk about the new man cave without first showing you the old one. So we're gonna get into that. Uh, also, I should let you know, I stream every Wednesday, Friday, and every other Thursday on Twitch, my DJ stream, and randomly game on Twitch as well. I'll put the links to those two Twitch channels, two separate ones, down below. Also, follow my Instagram, all that jazz. But anyway, let's get into the cave setup. <laughs> Alright guys, so welcome to the man cave, aka the basement apartment. It's where I live currently. Again, I'll be moving in the next couple months. So certain things aren't set up the way I want them to be, but I figure there's no point in setting them up now because uh, I'm moving. So why am I gonna set it up now? And then it's gonna change in like two months. When you see the cable management, don't judge me. I know you're gonna judge me anyway, but try not to judge too hard. All right? Let's get into it. It's all about the man cave version three. Start you off over here in this corner. Got my old IMAX 2008 version. So real old school. This is where currently I'm just transferring data from this setup over to that setup over there, which is the, the current setup, the newer setup. So that's what we're doing with this right here. And then I'll probably end up selling this off after that. Of course, you got the kitchen because it's a basement apartment. My work laptop. We've got this little corner here where kind of just collecting things. Don't really have anywhere to put this stuff right now, so it's kind of just collecting in the corner. You got a little monitor sitting there. Got some luggage, you know, couch, the lounge area. So I guess this is area number two, if you will. You have the lounge area. This is where I would sit and play the console game. Got all the console games lined up there. You know, you got the Wii U and the PS4, PS3, uh, Xbox 360 old school you got the sega genesis down there at the bottom you have the classic nintendo and of course the the gamecube and there's one theme that you'll notice with my nintendo games you've got smash bros is a must oh put that back wrong and then of course for the wii u you've got smash bros is a must favorite game and then i don't have a an n64 anymore but I'm gonna buy one back and i kept my smash bros from when i had the n64 back in the day so very very common theme love my smash bros my favorite game ever definitely be getting into some smash bros when i get a nintendo switch at some point got some vintage games as well my old nintendo sp this still works still in the box definitely get some gaming in on that here and there some old nintendo advance games some classic classic original game boy games and turn that flash on for you so you can see you know, ps1 games ps1 you didn't see here but it's over at cave number one sitting in the closet i gotta go clean that out at some point sega genesis games ps2 xbox 360 so i've been gaming for a little while you know just 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 a little while and as much as you know i game i feel like i'm more of a esports lover than a an actual sports lover but i do have some some sports memorabilia uncle of mine worked for the raptors and i ended up getting this clock from the inaugural season of the toronto raptors so that's pretty dope you're not gonna see one of those every day in addition to that he ended up getting me the signed ball from vince carter got one of these championship hats when the raptors finally won got the uh, OVO version so that's pretty dope and also hat from the inaugural I think it was the first day that the Raptors played or the the draft as it says it's not just the original Toronto Raptors but also the Vancouver Grizzlies some classic stuff for you there classic sports memorabilia from a guy who doesn't really watch sports <laughs> of course you got some books and some DVDs and all that jazz my bike because again it's a basement apartment and this is where I live so everything's gonna gotta fit in one spot I showed you the gaming this PC down here is really just to watch TV on this computer. So I don't have cable. I don't watch a lot of TV. I watch a lot of anime. So I load the anime on that, watch it on here, and bada bing, bada boom. Got a little UPS printer. So I have some uh, products that I sell on my, my car page. Print labels there. This, uh, actually, this box here, I had won. This is chess kit here. I won this at Dave and Buster's 
years ago and I said to myself I was gonna save it and keep it in the box until I got my own place and then I would put it up as like a display piece so there it is as a display piece right it's also got you know a couple other games in there I don't play I have a wooden chess board I don't play chess on that as opposed to using this one but again that's at cave number one and I gotta grab that at some point got some uh, some other stuff here some other gear my Soka forever hat and I missed the majestic hat this one I wore and got all dirty and salted up I gotta clean that old printer I gotta sell a whole bunch of CDs whole bunch of look at that whole bunch of CDs and that's not even all of them big old speaker this speaker here this speaker is the truth bought this in 2008 or no sorry 2019 bought the speaker 2019 and used it go into the beaches and the battery on this thing is amazing it's a wireless speaker you can also plug it in if you want it's Bluetooth it's great and I should mention I'll put links to stuff in the in the description below in case you guys want to check some of it out I know a lot of the tech in here is older and I will be up Upgrading. But for now, what I got is great. So if you think that what you have isn't good enough for you to stream, for you to do whatever it is, for you to game, for all that stuff, don't think that way. You may be looking online and seeing a whole bunch of guys with, you know, state-of-the-art gear and state-of-the-art built PCs, etc, etc. You don't need the top of the top of the line stuff to start gaming, to start DJing, to start doing anything online. You could start with what you have and then build as you go. Mention that bring you to the DJ setup. Dun, dun, dun. This is where the magic happens. As you see on the left screen here, that's the DJ stream, DJ camera. And then the right one here, this is where I would chill and play my uh, old school games when I'm on Twitch. I right, got my old controller here, a nice Logitech controller. Again, I'll put links in the description. Again, most of the tech is old currently. Vintage tech, we'll say. Got my uh, Pioneer SX2 controller, my Bang & Olsen DJ Khaled headphones that I actually got from Khaled for my birthday, 2015, 16, something like that. So those have lasted me very long actually the only thing i've ever had to change on these is the pads i had obviously just the red headphones and they came with black with red pads and i had to change out the pads because they got worn out i sweat a whole lot so i had to change that out but otherwise headphones work amazingly well controller works amazingly well got my laptop here 2012 macbook pro 13 inch got that going on of course Got the boom arm, right? This is the, the DJ boom arm. So when I'm spinning, have that up. When I'm not, put it back, move it out the way. When I'm gaming or just recording, have that boom arm out, right? Got the fine, cheapy Amazon mic, but it works amazingly well, can't complain. Again, you guys, you don't need the top of the top of the line gear to start game. You can also get the inexpensive stuff. It works very well. Stream with that, game with that, build up your following, build up your, your knowledge, your skill level, and then upgrade. So I definitely plan on upgrading, but for now, what I have here works extremely well. Can't complain. Old mixer, really old mixer. This is actually a borrowed mixer. I couldn't find a mixer at the time. And then I remember that I had one sitting at my girlfriend's house right now. So that'll be up in the new cave, cave version four, coming to you very soon. I got a Huawei tablet here that I use. I use this tablet a lot of times for reading manga and for when I'm streaming online, when I do my DJ stream, I'm able to check the chat and the uh, activity feed on this tablet so this comes in mind. This is why it's here actually. I'm recording this on a Friday, I'm about to go live in a bit. So I have my setup here, ready to go. But yeah, this is the, uh, the cave setup. The last piece uh, you're probably wanting to know about is the streaming PC, which is down there. And I know everyone's gonna be like, oh, you got your PC on the floor and dust and this and that and yes I know it's not the home it's not the permanent home but as you see there's really no room to put that monster of a PC case up on the desk. PC itself is, is old and outdated. Again, I'll put more information on the specs of the PC currently in the description. Um, you guys, you guys don't care about that. <laughs> so that's the current cave. That's what it is. Thank you guys. And we'll see you inside K4 under construction now. Peace out.